That is from Fly. I think I'm using as a size 5. Thread is a white. Just a, this is a Gutterman thread. I buy it in the bulk spools. It's like a 6 0 white thread. Basically ideal for doing salt water flies. Now I'm just going to start at the eye and put down a layer of thread. I want to slightly come round the bend. I'll basically to in line with the, the barb of the hook. Now what I've got here is some lead foil cut into the three, three, around about 3 millimeters wide. Now it's sticky back so I'm going to remove the backing. Sometimes it comes off easy, sometimes it doesn't. Then, what I'm going to do is basically tie it on in layers. Now, I want this hook, or uh, basically the shrimp pan, to sit with the point up off the bottom. So you, to encourage that, you tie you put all the way on the one side. In this case, it's the top of the hook, so it flips it upside down. Now what I'm going to do is come in with the thread, Basically just catch this in, don't worry about it, it will we'll cut with the thread and that's what you want anyway. So you take your first layer down, you can break it off, and then again, you can come in again. Now I'm going to put two layers full length first, hold it around, nice and tight, and then break it off. Then I'm going to start to come shorter, around about a mill or two. Just keep doing this till you build up a shrimpy type shape. Now you stick it up the end here. Just use the back of my nail to flatten it. And then come back and secure it. And again, I'm just going to use a thinner piece here. Slightly thinner. the backing off again. Now I'm going to do about two layers of this one. Break it. Again, make sure it's tied down. And again. Do you get the shape that you, you're looking for? Let me quick look side you'll see the shape starting to build up at the back. Now I'm going to put another one on, just again, just slightly shorter. I want it just slightly further here, down a bit, slightly around the bend a wee bit. Again, fold it in, and rub the back of the nail in to get it to sit. That should be fine. Now that will throw the, the hook the right way when it's in the water. You don't want to get too far around the bend, you're just going to close up the, the bend of the hook. Just making sure it's well tied down. That's fine. That's okay. Now I'm going to put some white bucktail just at the back. Now you're looking, I mean basically just about the length of the hook or so. Let's tie it on. Just going to loose turns or wide turns just to make sure it's tied on. Always nice and, nice and tight. When, I'm tie when you're tying things on you c you're always encouraging this, this tapered shrimp shape. So yeah, there we are. Now for the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, I've got some light bright hanks here. Now this is a, the green pearl. Now the green pearl, this one, if I come in. And you'll see the green pearl, there you go. Green pearl hank, light bright. So it's a great colour. Now I'm just going to take off, take out some, there's a length here and then use it as a dubbing. There's quite a few pearls there. There's a kind of polar pearl and there's a UV blue type one.
Now, the reason I'm putting in this, this pearl at the back is basically to lift or separate the eyes and I'm going to put some feelers on. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sort of velcro so this pearl out. Just ask like a ball to lift, so basically to lift or push away the materials away from the sides. Now, the main thing you've got to remember is the way this is sitting. The, shrimp, the fly will sit like this, or the shrimp will sit up like that. Now I've got some, these are, this is two grizzle hackles. Now what I've done here is I've removed the fine hairs up the, up the ends of the grizzle hackle. Come down, left fibres at the bottom to give an impression of small legs at the back. And basically tie them on, on the sides. And I'm going to come in and get the length I would like. So it looks okay. Tie them on the side. Now, a couple of turns just to see you've got it right. Just making sure they're sitting. That looks okay to me. And I'm going to carry on all the way up. Just trim these are the same length. Nice and tight. The overall tying of the fly is very simple. It's just time consuming because the amount of material you're putting on. That looks okay. Now I'm gonna use a use a clear nylon or a nylon. This is a rib, this is four pound nylon. And we catch it underneath. Take the thread down. All the way. And then I'm going to tie in two eyes. These are eyes here, there they are. These are by a company called Burm. So especially they're tough since bead specialists, but they sell a lot of stuff. And these are ready prepared, which saves a lot of time. Obviously I need two. When I line them so they're up, sliding them up. Same length. Just, just up into the shank, up into the sorry the bend of the hook. You can hold them there. Two or three loose turns just to make sure with the right length. You can pull them in if they're just one slightly longer than the other. You can see that. And once you're happy again, just Make sure they're well tied down. Take away the excess. Nice and tight. Now we're ready to build up our body. The first thing I'm going to do is tie in some more of the, the pearl, pearl green light bright. Now I'm going to represent the egg sac the shrimp. The fish do like to see, or uh, they like to catch or eat shrimp. It's got egg sacs. Obviously a lot of nutrients in them and the fish seem to go for them anyway. So I'm going to represent this by simply forming a dubbing loop. Now keep the dubbing loop right underneath. You thread all the way down. Yeah, this is my Daryl Martin dubbing twirler, so I'm just going to put that onto the loop. Just put it over my vise just now so it's out of the way. Then I'm going to carry on all the way up with more of the green, the green pearl. Encouraging that tapered shape that you get you want in the shrimp. We drop more. Then we stop it around about, say, a couple of mil from the end. Everything going forward, just draw it back. Now with the dubbing loop, I'm going to get some more. I'm going to get some more of the. This is diamond bright. There we go. If you can see it. Diamond bright, in this case, fluorescent orange, and you see a nice bright orange. Now, a 
colours I've seen in the the exact reds, clarets, things like that, orange. You use what colour works for yourself. This is just to give you an idea. Now this, this is a dubbing, so, so I'm getting my dubbing taller. And then basically put it in to the dubbing, nice and nice and tight. Basically put it in, open up your loop. Now you want it to start really close, so you push it up tight. Look at the length of the distance you're going. You're not going far, but you still have. You need to keep this together. So I'm twist or twirling the dubbing twirler, nice and tight. And then drawing this back, come up underneath. The best thing is to come round now. Catch it down. I thought this would be the easiest way to do it to to bring in, but you need to protect this so you do. Then put in a wee bit of more of the pedal dubbing just to taper it off. See the shape. Looks okay. Then what you want to do basically what I'm going to do is just slightly trim this. There's, see your egg sack there. Okay. And then you need to protect this. Bring your rib up through. In this case your nylon. Nice and tight. Just making sure this stays in the bottom. Bring it through it. It's just, this is a bit of fun in time. I mean, hopefully, if you give this fly a go, you should let me know how, you, how it fishes for you. And then, I'll do a good couple of turns at the top with an island. Cross your thread, and then make sure this is... I'm going to double it back to make sure it's tied in. Just keeping the thread tight. Never mind anything just now. And then, finish off. Give your thread, give you an island, and there we are now. What I'm going to do now is just form a, a bring down the pedal from the top. This is your legs. Give an impression of your legs anyway. Now you could put a shell back over this or whatever you want. Or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some bug bond. Bring this down, and there we are. It certainly looks okay. We've got a tubbing. Now, first thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use a UV resin. This is the light one. I'm just going to put it along the top. I want it to set, sink in, all the way along. Get your torch, get it to set. This is a new one, this is a new bug bond torch. And uh, to be honest with you, far superior to the last torches. This makes it an easy job. And that should be it done. Now that basically gives you a base, or a nice hard base to put on heavier one. This is the original resin. Original clear. Now, so you can see it a wee bit better as well, I'm going to mark the top of this with a permanent pen. So basically to give the impression of the segmented body of the, of the shrimp. Just one at the end here. So it's like that, okay? 
and you'll see it much better as well. And then get your resin, as I say, and I'm going to do a blob of each to give the segmented effect as well. On each one. Come on with the torch. And then set it. Doesn't take long. And you keep doing this till you reach the very end. So when you finish off towards the end, it's going to come all the way around here just to protect the head. There we are. That's basically uh, uh, it's just a light bright shrimp really. But so uh, I hope there's a few time methods in there that you enjoyed enjoyed watching. You can try and maybe give you some ideas. I enjoyed tying it anyway, so and there we are. Maybe quick quick look. There you go. That's your shrimp.